Hello everyone, Kenji Tiger here with Bengali Engineering and Play. We are back in Space Engineers and uh, continuing on our refit with the HS Cargo Drone. So uh, I'm not sure who originally designed this, um, but. So uh, what I need to do where we left off here is uh, this front corner. So we've pretty much repaired everything around. So back here was uh, was pretty good. Um, we've got uh, this front section over here all repaired. We've got the main chassis all repaired. Uh, and now it's just a matter of figuring out what the heck to do over here because I don't know what it used to be. Uh, so I, I truly have no idea what it was uh, over here because it was, it was damaged and uh, so it's kind of... I guess up to my own creativity at this point. Um, so uh, what we do know is uh, I knocked off um, the uh, the front uh, portion of, of these four. This this uh, cargo container here was missing. Um, so I can uh, at least get these back in here. Oh, I'm out of power. Need more power. power coming up here very slowly all right and uh, try again here So I think I'm going to mirror what's on the other side, uh, those are the wrong colors, wrong color. I don't know why that's the wrong color, Is that should be that, uh, let's, uh, let's try, so I'm going to do a shift P for that and, uh, and color those and we'll color all those. Uh, do a number seven and weld those. Good. Um, so the mirroring here is going to be a uh, inverted corner, um, which will be yep, actually just like that, uh, and then another one like that, and. Then we do the corner block, um, all right, which uh, we'll swing around and do that, do that, uh, and then flip this upside down, do that, and that. Um, get these all welded in. So this is a mirror of what's on the other side. The problem is I don't know what to do with this section here. Um, this is a drone. So do I keep this as a drone or do we turn this into something that you could actually man if you wanted to? And I'm kind of thinking, you know, being, being able to actually man this thing uh, may be um, make it a little more practical um, is, is kind of the way I want to, kind of the way I want to say it here. Um, so... Um, the, the question at that point is what do we need here? Um, so if we consider um, we would need an oxygen generator uh, if we take this into outer space and because it's ion driven uh, we don't have much of a choice in this case. So let me put that where the spotlight is. Um, so we look at the back and we see it's got the twin uh, port uh, versus that. Okay, so um, I don't think we need any more of that and we don't need batteries. So the next thing we need is an oxygen generator. So oxy, this is the vanilla uh, generator. Don't need any more batteries, so let's, uh, let's do that. So what I was thinking here was we would bolt this up 
to the front of this cargo container because we've got that spare thing. So let us, um, and again, because I don't know what was here, I, I apologize to the original uh, designer, um, but I have no idea what was there. Um, so let's, uh, that one off, uh, that one, we're actually going to take that off, that off, that off. That one we might be able to put back on. Okay, so I, uh, I did a little oopsie here with that, but we'll weld that back up. All right, so uh, our oxygen generator, which uh, clearly we're going to need for, uh, uh, for, I mean, we have to have uh, oxygen for our cockpit, right? Uh, and then the cockpit itself, sorry, let me push the correct button here. Um, which is going to bolt right onto the front of that guy. Um, so it's out forward um, of the ship, uh, which is actually good because then you have full visibility of this thing, so docking with this guy would be a little easier. Um, so, okay, and I was actually in the middle of figuring out what the spotlight stuff was. I remember now. Um, so, uh, in the interim, let's, uh, let's go ahead and weld these things up, which I think, uh, and of course I need displays. And All right, so let's go over here. Uh, we will punch up uh, number three, uh, take all those parts, punch up a number one, and right click and get all those. That off and uh, so bring out our welder again, which is uh, number seven. There's that one all welded up, and that one all welded up. All right. So uh, continuing on with uh, with the design here, uh, I think. So let's go with a block. Um, you know what? Let's um, all right. I'm going to change things a little bit. Um, I'm going to take these two blocks off. Um, and the reason why I'm going to take these two blocks off uh, is... Oh, darn it. Large cargo. Okay. Uh, and eight. And this one. Nope, oh, that's a six. Um, so, what we're going to do here uh, is put a normal block, uh, corner inverted, just a block, and a block, and then a slope, um, and then we will now connect slope here and uh, I'm going to try and mirror side to side so I need a block so we're doing block block uh, and this is going to become an inverted corner block uh, so we'll do the same thing here uh, a block and a block and then an inverted corner block here and a corner uh, there and here. All right. So not too bad of an evolution. We're going to do a little bit more here before we're done. 
so we're going to do a corner uh, and a slope, slope, slope. Uh, and because of how this is, we're going to leave that alone. Um, so it looks a little bit strange. Uh, and we'll do slope. And I think just because, we'll do that. Which creates a nice corner piece, but the uh, spotlight still showing through. So let's do the same thing here. Uh, and this will also let us wrap completely around uh, and do this and a slope. Yeah, I think I think I like that. Uh, so we need a slope, which is right here, uh, and then the corner piece. Uh, which is right there. All right, bring out our welder and weld all this up, and we'll see really how it looks, because this may look absolutely hideous. Uh, and I might have, I might have oopsed. Uh, I don't know if I actually welded what was under here. So let's do, uh, no, I did not. So uh, seven, we'll weld up that piece, and then we will put back on the slope here and weld the slope. So uh, intelligent in how we do this, or trying to be a bit more intelligent how we do it, which in the end, we're going to have to remove that one weld those up uh, in turn. And one more, which is right there. Alright, and then we add the slope, and then we should be home free here. Alright, so um, I'm not sure I like the way this stair steps here. Um, so the question is can we replace this with an inverted corner? Make sure I did not uh, mess up anything. Nope, everything is still good. Okay, let's try an inverted corner, and if the inverted corner actually works, yeah, I think it will work. Uh, and then we put a corner there. Um, so let's flip this, and then we have a corner uh, and a corner. Alright, I think I think that works, and that solves my dilemma of this kind of stair-step looking thing. Uh, so I actually do like that. Uh, now the only thing that I would probably do different were it me, um, which would kind of take away from that skeleton look, uh, is is armor this. Uh, and the reason why I would armor it is because that's your cargo container exposed. And of course cargo containers don't deal well with, uh, with incoming ordnance. Um, so, uh, having said all that, um, one of the things that I don't really care for uh, is um, this uh, I, I, my preference is to have this, uh, skeleton, uh, actually come all the way up and over. Uh, so that's what, uh, I think we should do. Oh, darn. Um, so, uh, having said that, oh, darn. Um, 
So I want to take those off. I want to take the skeleton of this chassis and actually connect uh, everything um, out. Uh, and that also would include here. So we, we uh, are going to have to change this setup here. Uh, make sure I didn't tweak anything here too badly. Um, Alright, so we need our block here, uh, and then block, 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 uh, block, 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 and then we'll do a slope uh, at this outer edge, uh, which then will connect, uh, so spin that around. So what this will do is connect these frameworks onto one another. So now rather than having four independent uh, structures, so one over the top, one over the bottom, one down each side, we now have a fully intermeshed skeletal structure around the whole thing, uh, which from a purely structural mechanics perspective is, is a whole lot more solid. Um, so uh, at the same time we actually will put this uh, back here like this uh, and the reason for that is is aesthetically uh, and in fact structurally uh, this would be better uh, sorry, let me get the right piece out here because I, I need um, more surface area so rather than just a corner piece um, we actually have a full block and then the slope back one um, which I think looks a little better structurally all right so uh, seven we'll, uh, we'll start welding this up even though I probably could have uh, gone down the other side. Let's uh, figure out what we're going to do here, and I think um, I think just keeping in line with um, ooh, I, uh, I like that. In fact, I was thinking I would just do a slope there, but I I really do. I kind of like that. Let's do the uh, get the grinder out over here, and we will start. Uh, because I always manage to damage. Grinding is an art. Alright, so this uh, next to here is, uh, is now that. Uh, we have a whole block, 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 and a block, and a slope. Here and we are done with. 
off the top. So uh, weld everything up, or so I thought. So that is the structural support portion for the top. Now we got to go down here and effectively do the same thing down here. So uh, let me pull out my grinder again and oh darn. going the wrong way. Block, 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 uh, and slope. Okay, then we got to figure out what to do here, and the downside with here is, uh, so uh, this is uh, temporary, and then uh, we can grind this out we leave that. Uh, we might have been okay regardless. Um, block. Um, so what I could do is an inverted corner here. That it probably is mounted there, so I'm probably okay. We're going to find out very shortly. Um, Alright, so six. Which takes that out. And inverted block. And we just have to turn that that way. And I think I think we're going to Frame done on that side. Uh, we just got to do it on this side. So, uh, done, done. Thank you. 
still connected there. Okay, uh, so I want to. Alright, so we need a block, a block, a block. Uh, a block and a slope. So now we need to spin. Get it, get it facing the right direction there. Um, this one was a block, uh, an inverted block, and a corner, right? I think that's how that was. Or maybe there wasn't a corner there, it was a corner here. Or both. Let's, let's look and see what this had over here. Uh, okay, so it was corner there, but I'm going to go ahead and put a corner here, because then it kind of reflects what's on the top there. Um, Alright. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. Alright. Uh, and we still have not... Got our spotlight grouping done. All right, uh, block. So block, 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 and block there. Uh, block, 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 and block there. Uh, block, 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 and block, and then uh, kick. Slope, slope, down up, sunlight is bright. Alright, yep, there we go. Alright, and... Alright! So the only thing that I am thinking would be a really good idea. So one of the issues here is kind of the lack of, um, so there's, there's no lift here. Uh, now out in space, that's probably not an issue. So if we look at things realistically here, we have uh, four down, uh, four to the port side, four to the starboard side, which might be plenty adequate. Uh, and we won't really know until we jump in there and, and actually see uh, what it is. Um, and we have four down. And we have four back. But considering how much force we have going forward, because we have... Uh, eight small and two large here for forward propulsion we uh, we may have some lack here um, so the question is do we want to add more uh, on or just leave it as it is I mean at what point does this become a remodel uh, over the simple refit uh, I probably have already breached that limitation. Okay, uh, and let us let us go in and really work with. So we turned the two lights uh, into something else. So we have all of these spotlights, which I don't know where they are. That's plenty of spotlights that I did not actually know about. So we know we have these four forward. We know about those. Uh, where are the ones? Okay, there's two. There's one there. And my guess is we have one over here. Um, so possibly with the one there, we may actually have... Um, the question is they we had um, K 
cameras on the sides here, and I don't know where they were. So it does look like we can put cameras in, and they attach. Okay, so we can see the lettering there on camera, which puts that right side up. So uh, I think that's where they were, maybe not. Uh, and these were, strangely enough, red. I don't know why they were red, but they were red. Um, so that's the port side. And let's come over here and put a starboard side in the same place. So mirrored right there. Uh, pull out our welder and see do we have the welding capability. So that's our starboard side and our port side. All right. Okay, so now that we have an antenna on here, we could actually... So there's our spotlights. We're going to turn the HUD on and see what these say. So we have a spotlight 7, and that's actually on, which is a spotlight 6. And that's a spotlight 6 and a spotlight 5. All right, so let's... Uh, pretend for a moment. Uh, so I don't know which ones those particular lights are. Okay, so these are our forward lights. Okay, so the G or CGD lights. Don't know what that means. Um, so alright, so this is um, And this one is port lower. And because those are both entitled the same, I have no idea what they actually are. So starboard, upper, and starboard, lower. Uh, and then I'll have to figure out. So that was 13, and that should be 14. Uh, so 13 is the spotlight um, port uh, connector, and this is the uh, starboard connector. Oh, camera connector 1 and 2. Your camera. So here's what I am going to do to be a little more conventional. Uh, so the the stern of a ship is not called the rear of the ship. It's called the stern or aft. So if you are facing aft, you are facing the stern of the ship. So we're going to call this aft view to be a bit more accurate on everything. Um, now, I put a couple cameras in here, so the camera 8 would be a port uh, connector view, uh, which we could really just call port view because it will probably be obvious there's a connector there, and this is the starboard view. front camera. And again, the front of a ship is not called the front, it's called the bow. So, we're going to call this forward view. Uh, front connector. Uh, so this is going to be called connector forward. Uh, how about? And the front connector camera is going to be called uh, camera board connector. Uh, 
So the question here is top camera connector 1 and connector 2. I'm going to go ahead and presume, I know that's a very dangerous thing to do, uh, top uh, connector uh, forward and top connector aft. And I, I don't know if that's actually true, so we're going to turn the HUD on for that. Uh, and let's have a look. Let's see where we're at. So, uh, port lower, port upper, uh, that's starboard upper and starboard lower. So I did get those right. Um, so spotlight starboard connector, we should see port connector, yes we do. Alright, so let's, uh, let's turn these series of cameras off. Um, so actually all these are going to go into camera, or cameras, sorry, cameras, and then we'll delete our camera. Um, and both of those, I'm going to delete both of those. Uh, and the reason why is, okay, cameras, so we're going to turn those, we're going to leave them on the toolbar because that's actually where you need them, uh, and turn those off. Um, so, port and starboard, that's a port connector, so uh, spotlight upper and upper lower. So, these are uh, Flood lights forward. And we will turn those off on the toolbar because we only need, um, and then these are flood lights uh, sides. And we'll do the same thing here. Turn those off. All right. Um, what do we need? So, just cargo drone, what is this? This is our antenna. Uh, we're going to go out to the maximum of the antenna, which is 5,000 meters, so 5 kilometers. We're also going to change this to remote control uh, cargo drone. That way, these two match. Um, timer. Actions. So that doesn't exist anymore. That doesn't exist anymore. Uh, so timer. Uh, we're just going to call that one. Timer one. Uh, set up actions. So this is the flea. I think we're going to remove and remove because I do not want this fleeing anymore. Uh, we don't want it doing anything that the user does not desire. Uh, so we'll just call that timer 2. Uh, the programmable block uh, will edit. It has absolutely nothing in it. Uh, so remember and exit. Um, and we will just call that I uh, like to shorten the text up a little bit here and just call it program block. Uh, and the panel, wide panel, and I have no idea what was on there. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and have a look and see. Um, uh, well, we don't have a whole lot of possibilities. So, uh, oh, that looks a little bit, a uh, little bit strange. Seeing that extra wide monitor there. Uh, all right. So let's do 
one more thing. Floodlights forward. Okay, toggle those on and then toggle it off. That way they're completely off. On and off. And good. Now they're off. Okay. Now uh, sides, we turn those off and turn those off. Uh, our cameras, we can do the same thing. Turn all of them off. Uh, and our connectors, I think, make sure we have all of the HUDs off. Okay, so according to this, we have five connectors. Which is probably true. Uh, although I was going to discover whether those were uh, forward and aft, as I had presumed. So, let's... Um, Let's turn those on and see what it says. So that is front top and rear top. Yes. Which, uh, which I should change those so I can match my conventions. So top. Uh, we'll do top forward. conventional with uh, with naval terminology here and then we will call these connectors uh, we'll do the group save we're going to leave those on the toolbar because you that's where you need them uh, inventory we'll leave that on because there is the possibility of inventory there and then off all right so uh, we have miscellaneous stuff which can actually be the cargo, that guy. So that we can turn off on the toolbar. It does not need to be on the toolbar. Uh, our oxygen generator should be on the toolbar. Uh, program block and timer blocks, those can be off on the toolbar. So what we're going to do here is do that and this. We're going to create a group as I normally do, uh, systems miscellaneous and we will put all of those in that group and then toggle the group terminal off we're gonna leave this alone because that's that's a mixed bag if you change that they all become the same so I'm gonna turn that off okay so here's all of our groups which are nice and fine and dandy and then our two things that we could possibly use the antenna because if you add that to anything that's what you get so it automatically blanks out any options that you have. All you can do is toggle the blocks on and off. So not, not necessarily a good thing. So uh, remote control, uh, because we want that active, if you activate this, um, so in your pull down, you want to be able to go immediately and be able to go to control. All right. So, I have no idea what this LCD was originally there for. Um, so, okay, the only thing else that I would like to do, which is really just structural. So this rib here, which is actually tied into here, it ends. So this piece ends. So what I want to do here is actually add definitely not red so that should be that color but it might actually be that color which looks like it turned white again All right so let's use that one and see what it does uh, we will go to block here and what I want to do is add these four blocks in both sides and uh, the reason for that is is to carry this structural frame along uh, a symmetrical line so we don't stop and then start again uh, so we leave the center structure the same but we add this side frame um, so, if you get into mechanical engineering, 
and we were to physically twist this frame. Um, so obviously that's not a normal thing, but if you think about stressors and weight and the application of force along this chassis, um, so twisting force or lateral force, anything. So moment on arm force. Um, you're going to have weak points, uh, which are this block here and this block here. Why? Because this is connecting onto this, which then connects onto here. So you have structural support here, and all that force has got to go somewhere, which means these two blocks. So this is a structural support intersecting here, and then intersecting here. But because we have a perpendicular angle here, we're going to have to distribute that force perpendicular. So that force has to go somewhere, which means those two are become the stress points. So by adding this in, we now maintain this force line all the way along. So we remove these two points as stress points by keeping this whole frame in here. So this frame now just becomes a structural additive onto this one. So you still have stress points here because these are extra. But because you have this one in the center here, it takes away some of that force. So distribution of force. Um, welder. I need my welder. this side ding, ding, ding. all right all done okay so now we have our frame looking symmetrical and we'll see what we have down here now we can't really do that down here because of these guys so the only options we have here would be to move those guys physically outboard and put them here. And then carry our line down here. So that is certainly an option, but do we want to do that? Or do we want to leave the ship a little bit, well, structurally vulnerable? Uh, although physics does not necessarily work uh, the same in space engineers as it does in real life, so maybe that's not an issue. Um, and we're no longer symmetrical with up top. But, keeping with the original author's design, uh, maybe that's better. All right. So, because we put this cockpit over here, do we want to do something more underneath? And I think we actually should. Um, so, over here, how can we blend this in? So, a light armor block, uh, I think we go to uh, a block and then slopes. here which will then be a corner and then back to slope another corner uh, slope Okay, so that adds a little bit of structure underneath here, uh, trying to hold true to the other design uh, elements on this side, um, even though we did just totally add this uh, new. So uh, if the original author of this is out there, I sincerely apologize. Oh, we're out of power. More power. 
for uh, totally uh, going design engineer on you. Okay, so we got to charge, charge it back up. So we've got uh, O2 and H2 is all replenished there. do uh, similar to what we did on the top um, and then the question is do we want to follow suit similarly on this side um, out here because we did put the framing around the top but we have not put the framing around the bottom so I think it would look symmetrical if we did the framing on the bottom but we would now block a little bit of well, I mean, we wouldn't really block the light, but we kind of have this open space on the bottom, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So, I do want to change this, so let me pull my grinder out, and we're going to put an inverted block here, inverted corner. corner, like that. Uh, welder. Alright. There it is. And I, I like that. I think that looks, uh, I think that looks pretty nice. So, uh, just because, um, let's go ahead and experiment here and put this frame thing down at the bottom. We'll try and mirror this uh, other side fairly well. So we have an inverted corner here. We have a corner oops, here. weld all this up and then see what it looks like. See if we mirrored or... Yes. Fairly well mirrored. Uh, center, center. Yes. I think that's... Yep. I think that was mirrored. I think that was good. Alright. Um, so we clearly altered uh, the way things look, but I think we're okay. Um, so, that seems to be the refit. So the only thing left now is to actually get in and try and see what happens. So, uh, I'm going to leave that blank just because I have no idea what uh, what anybody might want there. So W, T, 
to move forward. Uh, obviously we're not moving very fast, but it does move. Uh, so A, which is uh, thrusting to port, uh, D, thrusting to starboard, uh, S, thrusting backwards, uh, so a little bit. Uh, there was C for a upwards thrust, or sorry, downwards thrust, and uh, space for an upward thrust. Okay, so we can move uh, gyro control, uh, actually very responsive, so I do like uh, having those eight gyros instead of the original four. I think that's much, much better. Now granted, this is not a you know, fighter or anything, but I do like to have uh, good control gyro-wise without being obnoxious. And this is right in that good place where you have good control, but it's not hypersensitive. So in other words, too much thrust. Uh, so I think that's good. All right, uh, let me jump out of here, uh, turn off the welder because I think we are done. And oh, look, I missed one. I guess because we did this on the bottom, we should probably do the same corner pieces uh, on the top. Uh, so that's uh, the one there, and then there was one over here. Because that's what I did on the bottom. All right. So the only other thing that we might consider doing is uh, the pods for these. Um, and the question is, what do we want to do for the pods? Or do we want to do the pods at all? So with that thought in mind, let's ponder a bit. Uh, I need to turn off the uh, HUD on the connectors. Uh, so connectors, we'll just go ahead and do the global uh, HUD on off and toggle those guys off. And at this point we should have but a singular thing. Yes, that's true. Uh, and the only other thing that I want to do is... Uh, do the global and it's already set to me which is exactly what I want to see so uh, having done all that I believe that the vessel itself is complete it is everything that we wanted it to be we have our uh, our six cameras I believe it's six uh, might be seven do we have an underside camera uh, we do not have an underside camera, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but let's go ahead and, uh, and put one of those in. And I'm going to put it right here. Uh, so six. Uh, I'm going to uh, face it like this. And the reason I face it like this is if you imagine you're sitting in the cockpit and you're looking down. So to look down from the cockpit, sitting in my seat, I'm going to have to lean forward and put my head down, right? So now my forehead is forward and my chin is aft. So if I put a camera to simulate that same viewpoint, that same perspective, then the top of the camera, hence my forehead, uh, would have to be forward, which is what we're doing here. So uh, this is going to be that. However, because all the other cameras are red, we're going to follow suit and put the camera right there. Uh, so with a 7, we're going to weld that little guy up, and there it is. So the only thing we need to do at this point um, is, uh, is name that camera appropriately. Uh, so camera 10 is actually uh, the uh, ventral view camera. Uh, now the other thing that we need to do is get into our cameras here. Uh, so I'll turn those on and uh, we have a top connector, 
forward, top connector aft. Hmm. So we actually have two cameras. Yes, we do. And one of them is facing forward, one of them is facing backwards, which I don't really care for. I would like them both to have the same perspective. Uh, so you don't have to really reverse your whole concept there. So, uh, what I want to do is we're going to grind that one down. And we're going to put it on facing the, uh, what, what my perspective is the correct perspective. Alright, so this one that what that one is yes so we'll keep these symmetrical uh, we'll keep them the same uh, from the perspective other than uh, whether it is forward or aft in this case uh, the perspective is the connector is actually below your viewpoint so if we were to really do things smartly we would actually do the same thing here keep the connector or the camera uh, facing the right, which is to say the same direction, and then the connector under the viewpoint. So that way it makes it a little less confusing. Uh, so let's, uh, let's grind this one off. Uh, that good, that stayed there. And then we'll weld this one up. There it is. All right, so uh, those are our two upper cameras. Uh, so, uh, so this is the top connector forward, uh, or we could call this uh, dorsal view forward, and uh, that is indeed the uh, the connector as well. And then we have camera 12 here, uh, which is kind of the same. So dorsal view aft. Okay, so now we have our dorsal versus ventral uh, and port and starboard. Uh, and we have our forward view, which is that center one. And our aft view, which is all the way back. And then our forward connector, which was specific to that one. So we have all of our cameras. Uh, and put that in the camera group which was a control uh, and then select the cameras uh, good save okay and in this case we want to leave those on the toolbar that way somebody can configure those cameras on their toolbar however they want uh, and then we will turn that off okay and because I built new cameras okay they did automatically go to me which is which is good that's what we wanted all right so uh, it looks like uh, we're done with the ship. So the only thing that I kind of question what the heck is it for is this LCD here. I really had no idea what that was for. Um, you know, some company logo or something like that, perhaps. Um, but anyway, maintaining the uh, integrity of the original build, that's what it is. So. Uh, the only other thing that we could do and consider doing here is do we want to keep these 90 degree uh, angles or do we want to change those to the 33% angle or 33 degree angle and uh, I'm thinking that may be a good idea uh, so let's get away from the red um, I want this color and let's go ahead and grind um, one of these off just so we can see uh, what it looks like. And I think we're actually going to be a little happier, oh darn, um, with, uh, with the angle. So let's, uh, let's change here. This is the tip which will go there and then the other piece which will go there. So if we kind of look at this from the side, I think that is a much more 
streamlined look uh, for the ship here. I think it looks uh, quite a bit better. Uh, so rather than the third block up here uh, to have a little bit more gentle of a slope. Uh, so I think that's I think that's good. So let's do that all along the side here. We'll uh, pull out a grinder again and do these two. I'm getting that strange freezing again. There's one of them done. Should have thought of this uh, when we were doing it all before, huh? Uh, and this is going to put us a little bit over budget on time, which I did not want to do. So, what we'll do instead is uh, do that off screen. Uh, that way I don't have to bore you guys silly, and we uh, maintain our just about an hour perspective there. So. Uh, we will cut off the episode here because uh, the ship is pretty much done. Uh, we're done with all the command and control functions there, so all the cameras, all the connectors, everything there. And then we'll come back next episode. We will have the other structural uh, finished. And uh, the only thing left will be to build the pods, uh, the cargo pods on the outside here. And that's what we will do uh, the, next, the next evolution. So... Uh, having said that, this is Kenty Tiger signing off, and we will see you next time.